The kinds of skills that you learn in journalism, whether it's broadcast or digital now, or indeed you know, in, in, in print, are now increasingly transferable. So, you know, the forces, largely social media, which is forcing traditional media to contract, are fueling other kinds of communications and other kinds of media. So PR, we're here in a big PR agency, uh, is growing very, very fast because their clients all want to learn how to use social media and PR understands conversation and influence and those sorts of things. Uh, and PR is investing in digital, digital expertise very heavily because they see that opportunity. But more progressive companies are also recognizing that you know, in, in this, this environment, every company can be a media company. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to wait to be reported on by the newspapers or TV. They can go direct, communicate directly to consumers or the stakeholders, produce their own content. So you, know, you see brands like Red Bull have a director of content who just goes and makes films you know, about extreme sport, which is what Red Bull's customers are interested in. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same with Diageo is doing similar things. So the more progressive companies are getting into their own content production, you're getting brand-sponsored programming and, and content, and that's growing very fast. So you know, even though traditional media is shrinking, there are all sorts of other kinds of media opportunities that are opening up, and the kind of skills that you learn in news and in journalism are very transferable, therefore. However, that's not to say that there's no difference between journalism and PR or in-house content production. Obviously there is, and you know, for me, I, you know, I think it's very important that we try and reinforce the, the journalistic base because it you know, performs an absolutely vital function, and um, you know, we have to find ways of, of getting that to work better than it seems to be at the moment.